So I am at Walmart right now. Check this out. They have a Walmart exclusive mutation station here at Walmart. This huge display of all Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem stuff, a bunch of awesome stuff, clothing, books, shoes. But they also have Funko Pops. And I think I'm gonna get the Superfly. I wasn't gonna get the villain, but I decided to go and get them because they're actually only $8 here. So figured why not? I'm gonna get Superfly there. Check it out. These are Walmart exclusive. Really cool looking figures over here. And you come around here and they have a ton of other stuff. Check it out, they even have TMNT Pedos, which I guess are like Cheetos, but they're plant-based, made out of peas. So there's those, Pedos. Those are all the pops there. I did order this one already, so I kind of wish I would've waited because they have them here for eight bucks. I ordered him from 12, for 12 somewhere else. So there's that. But yeah, just a lot of awesome looking stuff there. Some plush, a bunch of other figures there. But yeah, this is Walmart exclusive. A whole huge, there's a Monopoly down there. That's really cool. But yeah, this mutation station is only at Walmart. It's a really cool display too, check that out. And look, Leonardo holding Leonardo. So I'm still looking over here at the station and check it out. They have this pizza box, pretty neat. It comes with three pairs of socks, but it's just cool that it comes in a pizza box. That's awesome. So I was looking through the Pokemon section. They have some uh, Astral Radiance ETBs, Brilliant Stars, but check this out. Somebody was gonna steal some packs, then they changed their mind. So now they're just sitting here. That's unfortunate. We do have a bunch of Scarlet and Violet stuff here, some figures and Silver Tempest. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But nothing else too crazy, nothing new and no, uh, no Obsidian Flames yet. So let's keep looking. So we're back here by the movies and the Funko Pops. And while there's nothing that I'm really that interested in, this is pretty sick. I love that shirt. I would love to get this. It is extra large. I'm a large. And the pop isn't too crazy. I think it's just him holding some, what is that, candy? Yeah. Still, really cool set. I would love to get this one in a large. And that shirt is just awesome. But it has Walmart exclusive, so I wanted to show it real quick. This is pretty awesome. And if you've never bought shirts at Walmart before, you might want to start. Check that out. That is super cool. Halloween, the night he came home. There's a few other ones here that are pretty cool as well. Check this one out over here. Where is it at? Over... Well, there's a Blue Beetle one, if you care about that, that's kind of cool. I think there's one more horror one over here that I liked. Here it is, The Exorcist, check that out. That's a really cool shirt too, and these are only $9, so pretty cool. There's a Ninja Turtle one down there. Let's see what else they got over here. The Mickey Mouse Disney 100 one, it's kind of cool. And the Super Mario Brothers one, but yeah, they have a lot of cool shirts here, check it out. Dragon Ball Z, that's actually pretty nice. Not a huge fan of that, but... Oh, there's that Ghost Face one down there too, that is super cool, but yeah. Definitely check out your Walmart. They have a lot of exclusive shirts. Oh, of course, Barbie. It's a few days later and I just got off of work. It's extremely hot, but I'm at a Target here near my job that I haven't been to in a long time. So let's go inside and see what they got. So they have a lot of Pokemon cards here. Usual stuff. They do have some Fusion Strike, Palde Evolved, Scarlet and Violet, Astral Radiance, and Lost Origin. That's pretty cool. Don't know if I'll pick up any today still pretty neat they do have these interesting Yu-Gi-Oh blisters here two legendary packs and a bonus pack these come with uh, the legend of blue eyes white dragon and metal raiders I believe that is pretty intriguing they do have the new Yu-Gi-Oh set right there duelist nexus at a school just a bunch of other stuff here some 1429 Yu-Gi-Oh Pharaoh tins those are pretty cool and a bunch of sports cars. Not really looking for those. They do have the My Hero Academia stuff there. But yeah, just a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm gonna hold on to this. I may grab one of these, I don't know. But let's go to the back in the toy section and see uh, see what they got back there. So back here on the toy aisle, they have the Target exclusive Leo and the Turtle Van Funko Pop ride. This is absolutely awesome. Really gonna wanna watch this movie ASAP. Probably today, hopefully, I don't know. but. This is super cool. Definitely want to pick this one up eventually. Probably gonna have to leave it today, unfortunately, but that is super sick. They also have the mutating Donatello here and the Michelangelo. Those are awesome. Don't have any of these yet, but I definitely want to add these to my collection. But yeah, those are, those are pretty sick. So I made it back to the pop section and there's a lot to look through here. Check it out. They have some Comic-Con exclusives right here. Ariel, Captain Marvel, the new Ted Lasso, Jamie Tart. 
and they actually have the 30th anniversary pumpkin king and jack skelling skellington those look really cool but i found one hatching raptor from comic con thinking about picking this one up this one's super super cool i'm a huge fan of jurassic park this is the 30th anniversary just check this one out such a cool moment in the movie and that's awesome they had a pop of this one it's the only one here but uh, i might pick it up i don't know yet but yeah there's everything there. oh they didn't have the hulk hogan and the mr t there that's awesome what else oh this uh she hulk that is super nice as well but yeah a lot of cool pops this is a target i don't usually come to but yeah cool to see what they have here and check it out they even have the new uh, luke skywalker there. that's pretty cool but yeah i think i might pick this one up So before I get into what I picked up in today's video, I just got out of seeing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem and it was absolutely awesome. Me, my wife, and my kids went to go see it and it blew my mind. First off, the animation was beautiful. Now, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, that was fantastic. Uh, you can't really compare the two because the animation's kind of different, but this movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, the animation was absolutely beautiful. Very com comic bookish and bright and neon and some parts, you know, dark and grimy. And, you know, it was just so cool, man, seeing them in the sewers, seeing them in the city. And the fact that they were all teenage kids, the voices were perfect, absolutely perfect. I loved it. Jackie Chan as Splinter man it blew me away and even when close your ears this is a spoiler he fights in the movie against an army of people he literally fights like jackie chan i've seen so many jackie chan movies and he does all the little aneurysms and stuff like that like throwing the chair spinning in a chair kicking stuff like that he fights just like jackie chan and it was just so awesome and he really has improved his uh, English. He was really, really good. Um, probably, maybe my favorite character in the movie just because I love Jackie Chan. Not like that John Cena movie on Netflix. That was absolutely garbage. Stay away from that. But this movie was absolutely fantastic. Um, Ice Cube as Superfly, so well done, so good. Um, and you know, I only watched the very first trailer. I tried to stay away from all the trailers because I didn't want to spoil anything and that is the way to go. Nowadays, I feel like they release a trailer and they just spoil so much of the movie and you go in and seeing so much of what you've seen in the trailer. But this time, I only watched the very first trailer. It's all I've seen. So I really didn't even know like the plot or why so many characters in the movie. And they really do a really good job of explaining all these different characters. A lot of characters you don't even really know about unless you like looked it up on IMDb or something like that. But so cool all the characters you could think of were in this movie it was awesome man i'm a huge turtles fan you can see i wore the shirt here i have all the figures above me here so happy i have all the pops which i'm still waiting on Raphael. let me know down below i ordered some pops from box lunch it's been like a little over a week i shipped them to the store but i really haven't gotten an update i don't know but hopefully i get my Raphael. and i got superfly and um yeah teenage mutant Ninja turtles Mutant Mayhem was awesome. Go see it if you haven't. It is in in stores. It is in the theater now. My kids loved it. My kids loved it. My son's name is Leonardo. And um, yeah, I can't praise it enough, man. I'm a huge Turtles fan. The first movie being my absolute favorite. And this comes right after. It was amazing. Go watch it. Go see it now. All right, so I have three pops that I added to my collection, but I also have this mystery Pokemon vinyl here. I picked this up in uh, Florida when I just went to Florida, but I forgot to open it. So we're gonna open it right now. I hope I get Psyduck. Look, you can get those six there, but I hope I get Psyduck. Let's see what we get. Okay, I'm in a little bag here. Try not to make too much noise. Oh, here we go. 
And we got, oh, we got Pikachu. Another Pikachu for the shelf. Really cool looking vinyl figure, pretty big. That's pretty cool, okay, so. All right, I will take that. Another, I have a bunch of Pikachu. That's why I was wishing for a Psyduck, but it's okay. That is pretty cool. And then you saw this one that I picked up earlier at Target, and this is the Comic-Con 2023 exclusive Hatching Raptor Funko Pop. Such a cool Funko Pop. I've really been loving the hunt for Funko Pops again. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, this one looks awesome. I am on the hunt for the Walmart exclusive T-Rex. That one looks so cool. I just want those two just to put them side by side. I think they'll look absolutely awesome. It's an amber T-Rex, looks awesome. So yeah, there's that one, pick that one up. And then there's two that I picked up off camera that I didn't film just cause I was with my kids and it was kind of busy. And it was at the mall and I went to Hot Topic and I went to another store called Brad's Toys and Collectibles. And there I found this pop, which I'm, again, I'm also a huge fan of Spider-Man, and I guess last year they re-released the original, what, four Marvel Funko Pops, and they re-released the original Spider-Man. Check that out, that is super awesome. The original style right there, you can see him in there. So cool. Kinda like, I guess like if they re-released like Pokemon cards and stuff like that, they re-released the original four Funko Pops there of, from Marvel. And I grabbed this one. It was at Brad's Toys and Collectibles. Uh, it was only $11.99. Not bad, man. That's a really cool in there. Really happy to add that to my collection. And uh, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna be collecting a lot more Spider-Man in the near future. And then the last one that I picked up, this one's super cool. Again, I'm a huge fan of The Simpsons. Grew up watching it all the time. You can see the crusty O's right there. And uh, I saw this one and I love the uh, Treehouse of Horror. Had to pick this up. This is a Hot Topic exclusive. Itchy and scratchy. You can see them right there. I don't know if there's a, yeah, you can see how they look there on the side of the box. Like Halloween, he's wearing a skeleton suit there with his head detached and uh, Scratchy has the plate with the brain on it. And that is super, super cool. A really cool set there. Hot Topic exclusive. There's a wave of the entire Simpson family is coming out that I definitely am on the hunt for, so. That's everything I picked up. Another cool pop for the collection. Stay tuned for next week because Pokemon's newest set, Obsidian Flames, comes out and we're hunting for the Charizard. So stay tuned for that. Again, I want to thank you all for the support on the channel. Y'all really loved last week's video when I started hunting again for Funko Pops. It's a lot of fun. Definitely going to continue that. So thank you for the love on that video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you all in the next one. Go see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Peace.